I have listed some guidelines of who to marry. And some guidelines, I may not have everything, but some things that come to mind. So this may really, really help you because you may not have much of an idea of who to marry. So think more about the character more than the outward looks. Please believe me. Please believe me. Marry someone who is willing to go by the gender-based roles which are listed in the Bible. Roles that the man and woman must go by. So, in the Bible, there is things the woman must do and the man must do in the Bible. So, marry someone who is willing to go by their duties. Now, you may think this is not really a big deal because maybe you think you are so much in love with that person and everything is going to work itself out. Listen now. Beforehand, get a very good understanding, if possible, if a person is willing to go by the rules of marriage. Try to get a very good understanding first before you marry. I am telling you. No matter how fine a woman is, no matter how handsome a man is, make sure they want to go by those roles. Very important now. I think it is very important. The next one, marry someone who is willing to live by the rules of Jesus Christ, which is kind of like the first one, I guess, in some ways. But I guess this one is more in depth. Okay. Marry someone who likes seeking God, as in reading the Bible, praying, fasting, going to church at times, and other things. In my opinion, marriage is already difficult, but not seeking God can make it so much more difficult in my opinion. So, try to find someone who is willing to go by, who is willing to actually, someone who loves God, someone who is willing to seek after him, which is very, very important. Very important. Okay. Marry someone who truly loves you. Please listen. I think some people marry for different reasons. Some people may marry out of for some people may marry for money. Some people may marry because they are or they feel they are too old so they don't want to be looked down upon, so they may marry because of that. Some people may marry because of sex. Some people may marry because of whatever reason. If possible, find someone who truly loves you. I hope this makes sense. I think that word love 
the word love is tossed around like a plastic doll. Marry someone who loves, who shows love by deed and hmm, some typos here. Marry someone who shows love by deed and not only by word. Okay. If it is possible, marry someone who is on the same or higher spiritual level than you. I think this is extremely important. You may love someone very much, but I believe your marriage will be tested. Man, I think that is very true. I think for everyone who is married, I think their marriage is going to be tested. The ones who are properly married, not that mess they are doing in this day of age, if you know what I mean. Because if you are married, not based upon the rules of the Bible, like, <laughs> I don't even think God accepts something like that. Okay, where am I? I think I am here. So I believe it takes character to go through demonic attacks and still be able to act properly. Okay. Marry someone who is mature in general. This is true. This is true. She may have a wide behind. She may have large breasts. He may have uh, a large bank account. He may have a Maserati. He may have a Ferrari. He may have a McLaren. <laughs> he may have all those toys plus more. But is he mature? Is she mature? This is important. This is very, very important. Because if a person isn't mature, aren't you going to get tired of their body? Aren't you going to get tired of their money? I believe so. After a while, I guess. So marry someone who is mature in general. You may not think a lot about this in the beginning, but it is very important if you choose to marry someone. So I have listed some things here, some typos, <laughs> which I may fix. So use this as a guideline. So to smash everything together in a main idea, in general, I guess, find someone who is mature, someone who is willing to seek God, someone who is willing to serve God, someone who is willing to go by the roles of marriage. I am telling you, I like pretty things. But if pretty is all that woman has, I am married. But if I was not married, if pretty is all a woman has and she is immature and she is pretty much a demon in disguise, figuratively speaking, why in the world would I marry her? Because she has a nice body? Don't be insane. Don't be ridiculous. Just because that man have so much money, 
just because that man can take care of you, your mama, your daddy, your cousins, your sisters, your uncles, don't mean you should get with that person because that person may treat you very poorly. Stop looking at the shiny objects, sort to speak. Look for, look for what is beyond the surface. I like money. I like pretty things, but will I be willing to sacrifice what is really important for a behind and breast and mess like that? No. Look for what is beyond the surface, as in the character, the way the person is, the way the person behaves. This is important. Don't marry like a child, as in, don't choose a spouse as how, like how a, a kid chooses a toy. You have to scratch, I would say dig, further than the surface. Because the surface may look very beautiful, may look very handsome, may look full of pleasure. But what is beyond that? What is deeper than that? I hope this makes sense now. Stop being a child. Stop choosing like a child. I believe years ago, I think a woman was about 18 at that time. And she was telling me what type of man she is interested in. And surface stuff. I believe most or almost everything she was talking about was surface stuff. And I'm thinking, and I believe I told her too. I believe I thought it and told her. If you go by mainly what you are talking about, <laughs> like, I don't think it is going to work out. If you choose a spouse like that, I don't think it is going to work out because what you are telling me is surface things. If you want to jump from man to man, woman to woman, okay choose surface things because you may not want to be with that person long okay which is wrong to fornicate and stuff like that but that would make sense to choose a person based upon the outward but if you are looking for a long lasting marriage you need to dig deeper you need to get that immaturity out of your mind and choose someone that you can be married with for a very long time. And I am trying to teach what to look for. What is pleasing to the eyes, oh, please listen now, please listen. What may be pleasing to the eyes may not be good for you. I can, I can't, but let's say I can bake, <laughs> which I cannot bake. Let's say I can bake a beautiful cake, but let's say that there is poison all in it. Like poison and venom and all that mess like that. The cake may look beautiful from the outside, but it is poisonous. It is venomous. Venomous. It may kill you. Oh boy. 
scratch harder, or should I say, dig further than the surface. Dig. Dig. Please. Let me stop here. God bless you.